okay so in this video we will discuss on the different groups of microorganisms present in the soil so some of the microorganisms which live in the soil include the algae bacteria fungi nematodes actinium actinomycetes then we have bacteriophages and protozoa these are the microorganisms which live in the soil so let us take a look at one by one here the first one is the soil algae now soil algae which include both the prokaryotes as well as eukaryotes luxuriantly grow where the adequate amount of moisture and light are present and these microorganisms they play a very important role and also a variety of role in the soil okay the one of the important role played by the br blue green algae is that it has a uh, revolutionized it has revolutionized the field of agricultural microbiology due to the use of these uh, cyanobacterial biofertilizers so uh, many biofertilizers which are made up of these cyanobacteria have been uh, these biofertilizers have been extensively used in the uh, agricultural field and on the other hand they can also be used in reclamation of the acidic soil, alkaline soil, uh, and as well as uh, sewage treatment, and many, and they have many other important role in the soil. So these are some of the prominent genera of the soil algae, such as the, as you can see here, this is anabina, then calothrix, ostelaria, alocera. Nostoc, then Skytonema and Tolly Potrix. So these are some of the prominent genera of uh, algae which are found in the soil. But these are, are just few examples. We have so many other uh, algae which can be found in the soil, which live in the soil. So the next group of microorganisms here, the second group is bacteria. Now, bacteria, they are the smallest unicellular prokaryotic uh, cells. They are unicellular and they measure about 0 0.5 to 1 into 1 to 2 micrometer in length. Okay, and almost all of the bacteria, as you can see in this figure, they are unicellular. And also they are the most abundant group and usually more numerous than other microorganisms which are found in the soil. The number of which varies between 10 to the power 8 to 10 to the power 10 cells per gram soil. So thousands and th millions and thousands of bacteria are, uh, they live in the soil. They can be found in the soil and however in an agricultural field their number goes to even much higher which accounts per about three tons wet weight per acre of land and these bacteria they actually they do not occur freely in the soil solution but uh, these microorganisms they are closely attached to soil particles or they are embedded in organic matter and uh, just like the soil algae bacteria also they play very uh, important role in the soil for example the major role of bacteria in the soil is the organic matter decomposition then biotransformation biogas production nitrogen fixation and many other important role and these are the examples of some soil bacteria okay here you can see this is the sorry This is the agrobacterium, then we have arthrobacter, bacillus species, then alkali genes, clostridium, then corini bacteria, then erwinia, nitrosomonas, then we have nit nitrobacter, pseudominus, rhizobium, and thiobacillus. These are uh, some of the uh, soil bacteria. 
which live some of the bacterial microorganisms which live in the soil but as i had mentioned there are thousands and thousands of species of bacteria which can be found in the soil these are some of the prominent genus of bacteria which is usually found in the soil now the next group of microorganisms we have here the actinomycetes now the actinomycetes actually they are the microorganisms which share their character both with bacteria and fungi okay so they have characters which are similar to both bacteria and fungi and they are commonly known as ray fungi because of their close affinity with fungal species rather than bacterial species and they are gram positive and also they release antibiotic substances however the earthy od odor of newly wet wetted soil has been found to be uh, due to volatile growth product of these microorganisms of actinomycetes in the soil and the population of actinomycetes in the soil it remains greater in uh, grassland and pasture soil than in the cultivated land so their population okay, these microorganisms can be found more in grasslands and pasture soil rather than those uh, cultivated land and in temperate zones the number of actinomycetes it usually ranges from 10 to the power 5 to 10 to the power 8 gram per soil and here one more thing i want to mention the most limiting factor is the ph which governs their abundance in soil and its luxuriant growth is favored by neutral or alkaline ph of about 6 to 8 so these are some of the important members of actinomyces you can see here the first one that is this is the actinomyces then micromonospora actinoplanes microbispora then nocardia then streptomyces and thermoactinomyces these are some of the common actinomycetes which can be found in the soil which live in the soil now the next group of microorganisms here we have uh, bacteriophages or viruses bacteriophages as well as plant and animal viruses they have been observed in the soil but however their role it has not been clearly understood the next group of microorganisms here we have protozoa now in most soil most of the members of uh, microfauna it remain in encysted form and the population of group is about 10 to the power 3 per gram wet soil now the role of soil protozoa is predatory as these uh, these microorganisms they eat upon bacteria and thereby regulate their population however the number of the uh, protozoa can be correlated with plan with plan growth and also indirectly with status of the soil nutrients okay so their number in the soil it uh, depends on the plant root growth and also with the status of the soil nutrients now the next group of microorganisms that can be found in the soil are fungi now fungi in most of aerated or cultivated soils fungi they share a major part of the total microbial biomass okay because of their large diameter and extensive network of mycelium but however population of soil fungi it usually ranges from uh, 2 into 10 to the power 4 to 1 into 10 to the power 6 propagules per gram dry soil and its number differs according to the isolation procedure and composition of the media so their uh, population in the soil it depends on these it depends on the procedure of isolation as well as the composition of the media which is used for to culture these uh, fungal species and fungi derive nutrients for their growth from the organic matters in the soil uh, as well as living animals including protozoa arthropods nematodes etc and 
the living plants establishing different types of relationships he okay, as you have you had already studied that some of the uh, fungi they has these what we call a symbiotic relationship with the root with the root and also some of these they are they can uh, they help the plant to to fight off against in uh, pathogens all right so they have these antagonistic properties and the root inhabiting fungi they are characterized by an expanding parasitic phase on the living host with a little declining saprophytic phase after the death of the invaded host but the soil inhabiting fungi they are characterized by their ability to survive independently as soil saprophytes okay so some of the fungal saprophytes they are here i'm just showing some of the uh, these are the pictures of some of the common fungi which are found in the soils this is alternaria alternata then aspergillus this is also aspergillus flavors then we have fusarium this is penicillium then this one is uh, Theovalopsis, then Cladosporium, Verticillium, Glycladium, Apsidia, Rhizopus, Rhizoctonia, then this is Mucor, then we have, sorry, okay, these are some of the uh, fungi commonly, which are commonly found in the soil, but not only these, I, I could show only few uh, pictures here, but as I had already mentioned earlier that there are many thousands of species of uh, bacteria fungi and many other microorganisms in the soil so these are just few examples now some of the uh, saprophytes soil saprophytes okay the fungal saprophytes which can be found in the soil they are the alternaria species aspergillus then cladosporium dimatium glycladium helminthosporum humicula and metarhizium and the commonly found pathogens in the soil they are armillaria fusarium helminthosporium ophiobolus phytophthora plasmodiophora pythium rhizoctonia sclerotium and theovalopsis verticillium okay so these are some of the important uh, fungi which can be found in the soil okay and the last uh, group of microorganisms that live in the soil they are the nematodes okay so these are the pictures here showing the nematodes which are which live in the soil now nematodes and as well as the microscopic worms that live around or uh, around the soil or inside the plant and some nematodes they are predators while others they are beneficial uh, they are beneficial they help to fight against various pathogens okay eating pathogenic nematodes and also secreting nutrients to the plant so even uh, these beneficial nematodes they play a very very important role in the soil and nematodes they derive their nutrients for their growth as well as reproduction from the cell contents and cytoplasm of other microorganisms such as protozoa bacteria fungi which are uh, which live together with these nematodes in the soil so nematodes they uh, they also they help in they provide so many uh, important nutrients to the plant they protect the plant from other pathogenic nematodes and for themselves they derive the nutrients for their growth as well as for their reproduction from uh, other microorganisms which are found in the soil so all all together we see that there are uh, seven microorganisms which are found in the which live in the soil